Hello, hello friends. Let us now learn some important points about ectopia vesicae and extrophy of bladder. Here, this is a complete ventral defect of urogenital sinus. This extrophia vesicae or extrophy bladder, ectopia vesicae or extrophy bladder is a complete ventral defect of urogenital sinus with overlying skeletal system. Then here there will be abnormal overmaturation. This occurs because of abnormal overmaturation of urogenital sinus. Because of increased maturation of urogenital sinus, this will result in rupture of the ventral wall. Thus the posterior wall of the bladder can be visualized through this. So this ectopia vesicae is actually, it is associated with the um, the following conditions is here there is absent anterior wall of the bladder there is no anterior wall of the bladder and here there is also absent infra umbilical bladder wall there is absent infra umbilical abdominal wall there is absent infra umbilical abdominal wall there will be exposed posterior wall there will be exposed posterior wall of the bladder through which the urine dribbling so that the urine will, dri will be dribbling from it okay and there will be widely separated you will see presence of widely separated pubic rami also pubic rami okay and then the patient will also have umbilical hernia and the patient will have rectal prolapse okay so these are the associated features then if you see in males in males the patient will have epispadias and also shallow scrotum whereas in females if you see the patient will have the female patient will also have epispadias and there will be bifid clitoris in the females there is epispadias bifid clitoris and you will see presence of widely separated labia is also seen okay so these are the things which you see in these patients then how are you going and it is also associated with it can lead to adenocarcinoma also okay what are the management if you see the treatment treatment is you will have to do augmentation cystoplasty should be done treatment is augmentation cystoplasty is done and then you should do posterior iliac bone osteotomy you will do posterior iliac bone osteotomy should be done with repair or correction of abnormalities and then you can do abdominal wall closure and followed by we should close the abdominal wall. So this is about the uh, ectopia vesicae. Thank you for watching.